What's up everyone? It's Lee here and I am the bartending photo boothing rental guy and today we're going to talk about flyering. You know, walking around, dropping off flyers, mailing flyers, strategically placing flyers. Flyering, is it worth it? Well, it must be because I have all these flyers. Flyering is worth it if you can do it correctly, but you have to make sure that you're doing it the right way. So I'm going to explain to you what I've learned through flyering over the past five or six years. I said five or six years, not five or six beers. Plus, if your competition's not flyering, then that's one space that they're not advertising in that you are. So if you're just making a general flyer and handing it out or leaving it on the doorstep of a business, how's that gonna work? So you might as well be wishing upon a star. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Oh wait, it's daytime. Okay, so this video is not about how to design a flyer. If you're looking for how to design a flyer, go right here. You gotta make sure and dress up. So just give me a sec, I'm going to... Okay, so just dress up, wear a dress shirt. People will take you more seriously if you dress more professional. Especially if you're heading into car dealerships, real estate agent places. This is... This is where you want to get your foot in the door and you want to be taken seriously. So here's my flyer focus. Weddings, Christmas parties, grad. Simply. So with my wedding flyers, I uh, did coupon books and those went over fairly good at the wedding show and people got discounts. For your wedding flyers, drop these at bridal shops. Have these on hand when you're doing wedding shows. If you want to see more on wedding shows, click right here. I'm Lee and I'm driving to the wedding store to drop off my pamphlets because I'm smart. So dropping flyers at a wedding store is part of partnering with vendors. I plan to make a video about partnering with vendors very shortly. So when you're flying for schools, you want to do a double whammy. And what I mean by double whammy is do a mail out with a customized photo strip that has their school logo on it with a deal card. And I'll pop this in an envelope and I'll mail it to them. But I'll also have an additional separate flyer that's marketed towards schools. And I will go drop them off to the secretaries at each school saying, hey, can you forward this to the grad committee? That would be wonderful. If you're looking for more ways to market to schools, check out this video. Corporate events, you want to give them something with their business logo on it. If their business logo's on it, they like that. They like seeing their business logo on things. They can't refuse it. Also, one thing that I've noticed with corporate clients is when you're handing out a flyer to them, if your timing's absolutely right for Christmas parties, they've probably been talking about it anyways. And when you come with a flyer for a photo booth, they're like, great idea. Or they're like, we were just talking about this. And it's like, yeah, well, here you go. Check this out. Better yet, when you're going handing them out, if your photo booth's small enough, ask them if they want to check it out for the afternoon or if there's a, it's a good date that you can drop it off and they can test it out for a little while. I know that my photo booth's set up in about a minute and I can have it there and leave it there for the afternoon they can play around with it then they can go oh yeah this is the one for the party the more that they know about the photo booth the better the chance that they are going to book it once your photo booth is sitting in their office for an afternoon if they don't book you your photo booth sucks just kidding no one sucks i love you what you're trying to do is make sure that people don't throw away the flyer because you don't want it to end up in the basket. So what's the best time to deliver your flyer to a business? So before I can tell you what day I figured out is the best, I have to tell you why. Think about it this way. It's Monday, you come to work, this is your office here, you're on your computer, you're just ready to get to work. And then some guy comes in with the flyer and it's like, hey, check out my stuff. And it's like, no, I got 20 things to do. And so you're like, oh, okay, I'll take the flyer. And as soon as you get the flyer, what do you do? You toss it, you just don't care because you've got work to do. But if you wait till later in the week, uh, people get their tasks done for the week and their mind starts wandering a little bit. Uh, if you wait till after Wednesday, they're over the hump. They're starting to look forward to the weekend, but it's not Friday, so they haven't completely shut off yet. So if you go on Thursday, that's the day. Specifically, Thursday is the day that you're supposed to go. Real quick, if you're liking this video and you haven't subbed to my channel yet, do me a favor and press the subscribe button. Guys, thanks for watching the video, but I gotta get going, my jam's on. Keep in mind, this is just one strategy out of multiple. If you're looking for more strategies, uh, click right here.